Marcus Garvey was a prominent figure in the early 20th century, known for his leadership in the Pan-African movement. Born in Jamaica in 1887, Garvey was deeply influenced by the conditions of black people in the Caribbean and the United States, where racial discrimination and oppression were rampant. Garvey founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association, UNIA, in 1914, with the goal of uniting people of African descent worldwide and promoting black pride and self-reliance. He believed in the importance of economic empowerment and advocated for black businesses and entrepreneurship. One of Garvey's most famous endeavors was the Black Star Line, a shipping company established in 1919 with the aim of facilitating trade and transportation among black communities globally. While the venture faced challenges and ultimately failed, it symbolized Garvey's vision of economic independence for black people. Garvey was also a powerful orator and mobilized large crowds with his speeches, which emphasized racial pride, self-determination, and the need for unity among people of African descent. His message resonated with many black people who were disillusioned with the systemic racism and discrimination they faced. However, Garvey's activism also attracted the attention of government authorities, particularly in the United States, where he was seen as a threat to the status quo. In 1922, he was arrested and charged with mail fraud related to the Black Star Line, a controversial trial that many viewed as politically motivated. Despite his legal troubles and eventual imprisonment, Garvey's influence persisted, and he continued to inspire generations of black activists and leaders. He was eventually deported from the United States in 1927 and returned to Jamaica, where he remained active in politics until his death in 1940. Marcus Garvey's legacy continues to be celebrated by many, a pioneer of the Pan-African movement and a champion of black liberation and empowerment.